welcome back to the channel. Uh, Anthony Sakari here talking all things solar and battery storage. Um, right now we're sitting in my basement uh, where we have three Tesla power walls and 36 sun power 360 watt modules on the roof. So I've been procrastinating for quite some time now, just been super busy, but that's no excuse where we really wanted to do um, basically a test. So we want to run a test and shut the main breaker down that's inside the gateway, uh, the Tesla backup gateway. So once we shut that main breaker down, that's going to stop all power coming in from the utility company. And we're going to be running fully off the 36 panels on the roof and the three power walls that are on the wall. And I really wanted to see how long we could run in off grid mode, but I kind of wanted to test it out, you know, maybe just do one week or a couple days and leave it in off grid mode and kind of update you guys every night on how we're doing. And we'll see if I have to turn the main breaker back on because we don't have enough power today. It's actually a really dreary, rainy day outside. So right now you can kind of see it's uh, everything is coming off the power walls um, right now and it's only six o'clock. That's how it's like dark outside already. And our power walls are only charged to 64% right now. So they're not even charged up fully. So it's kind of risky to, you know, flip the main breaker to the house and run in full off grid mode tonight when the batteries are only charged at 64%. But I say, let's give it a go. So right now for the week, we're gonna run the entire home in off grid mode. We're gonna shut the main breaker in the gateway and then I'm gonna give you nightly updates on how we made out and if we made it through the entire night running just on solar plus battery storage. So uh, right now, we'll go over to the gateway and flip the main breaker and enough procrastinating with me putting this off for so much time. We're going to do it right now. Let me get set up over here. So this is our iPad. We'll just, uh, we'll watch this as we flip the main breaker. And what I also want you to realize is look at the light and in a grid outed situation, look at the flicker of the light. You won't even, you won't even notice the transition from grid to batteries. And it's similar to a grid outed situation. In a grid outed situation, usually you have to wait five seconds for the generator to kick on. This is instantaneous power you'll sense it. you'll feel a little bit but watch the light you won't even know it and I'm also screen recording over here so you can see in the power flow mode you're gonna see a big X over the grid and that's gonna simulate that we're shutting the power down and we're not getting any more power from the grid so for those of you who haven't seen it these are the three Tesla power walls. And on this side, this is our monitoring unit for the sun power system. That's our PV supervisor, sun power PV supervisor. This is our combiner box for the solar system. So we have a 20 amp two pole breaker for a string of panels, another 20 amp breaker for a string. Third one, this 15 amp breaker powers our monitoring. In this panel, we have our three Tesla power walls, each on a 30 amp breaker, and then our solar breaker that's right in the bottom, that's a 60 amp breaker. This is my loads panel for the house, which was my main service panel, but now is my sub panel, because this gateway is actually our new main breaker. That's the main disconnect coming into the house, so. Here we go. Right now, we're gonna flip the main breaker. What's today's date? Today is, da, 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 da. today is September 14th. It's currently six o'clock at night. 
I'm picking the absolute worst day to flip the main breaker on the house because right now I'm flipping the main breaker on the house and we're only at 64% on the power walls. And I, I'm, it's gonna be tight again through the night, that's for sure. So right now, here we go. Three, two, Here we go. Did you sense a flicker? There it is. We are in full backup mode. Everything is being charged off the Tesla Powerwalls. We're currently using 3.3 kW of power in the home. And we have no solar right now. I'll show you outside just so you can see what kind of what it looks like out here. It's dark, it's rainy. Not the day that you wanna flip the main breaker on your house and test out the power walls. And right now what I notice is running, the pool pump. That's usually the last thing you want to be running when you're in off-grid mode. You want to conserve as much power as possible, but hey, the whole goal of this test is to see, can you run your entire home on the power walls without sacrificing anything? And that's what we'll see. Right now, uh, it's looking kind of tough. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off, especially with 64% power and it's only six o'clock at night. We'll keep you guys updated on this journey. I'll try to update you every night.